Day one of Hidden Monsters 2016 is done. Um, I know nothing. <laughs> this is not my field at all. I am a galaxies person and everybody really cares about the AGN that's in the centre of the galaxy, the active black hole. <laughs> so much so that I heard the galaxy described as foreground today. Um, which means that they they just they just don't care. These people they care about the AGN and what it's doing and what physics are driving it. They don't care about what impact it has on its galaxy. Definitely opening my eyes to this field um, and how everything that I do, where I care about how the AGN impacts on the host galaxy, ties in with everything that people here are trying to do. So we'll see how the rest of the week goes. Um, but I'm having fun so far. So it is day two of Hidden Monsters uh, 2016. Another really good day today. I had a great review uh, this morning that talked about unification theory of AGN. We've seen things with active black holes in the centre, some of which are obscured by sort of the accreting material around it that's dusty, and some of which aren't. And it was only in sort of like the 80s and 90s that people realised actually these objects that we're seeing are kind of exactly the same thing, but we're just seeing it from a different angle. And there was some evidence recently that that actually might not be the case. And so the review talk we had this morning was from someone arguing that it, that theory was actually still alive and well. But then this afternoon it came back to galaxies. I was very happy that it came back to galaxies, mainly because I understood more and I had questions I wanted to ask, but also because that's what I care about. But it's really cool to focus on AGN, because AGN are cool. Why wouldn't you want to go to a conference that was on just that? Okay, so it's day three of Hidden Monsters, Hidden Monsters 2015, and we have the afternoon off, which is awesome, because it means more random networking opportunities. This is the Connecticut River in Dartmouth, and we're going to go canoeing. <laughs> So yesterday we had a lot of discussion about the importance of mergers in fueling AGN and growing black holes and how that's all tied together in sort of a big evolutionary picture. And then today we talked about how really rare things can tell you more about the physics of what's going on in AGN, whether really the obscuring is coming from uh, the accretion disk, the, the sort of material around that accretion disk is doing the obscuring, or whether actually it's the galaxy itself doing the obscuring. It's the conference dinner tonight, which is a barbecue up by a lake, which I feel like is a very American thing. So I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, I am talking tomorrow morning though, so I think I might have to lay off the wine and the beer, unfortunately. It is day five and it is talk day. Wish me luck. What was your favourite part of this conference? I don't think there's been really fabulous about this conference. It's been a mad discussion. I mean, this is how we make a lot of progress in science. It's actually through discussing things through a community, and discussing through the important issues. I think that's been fantastic. What was the, your favourite part of this conference? The discussion sessions. I really like the uh, online polls we did and how much we disagreed about what the questions were, more so than what the answers were. What I really like about the conference is of this whole series that we all hang out with each other and we talk to each other a lot. And discussion, all the discussion sections, sessions for me are absolutely amazing. We just you know, exchange ideas and we all good friends one here. I really like the questionnaires when people have to gain their opinion about uh, the most favorite choice. Uh, I really like when people can really uh, bring up all the opinions in, uh, in a very short, uh, and, uh, familiar and uh, uh, informal context. It was very useful and I really liked it. 
I think so. We spoke about a lot about hidden monsters in the distant universe, like really like Red Shifts, but I really liked it when Addy and I in particular were closer to home, looking at this local volume limited sum, finding these hidden monsters that we didn't even know about, these AGM right in our cosmic backyard. Really kind of begs the question how many of these things are we missing, not just in the distant universe, but really close to home. What was your favourite part of this conference? Well, the discovery that it's actually Cookie Monster is responsible for the disappearing tourists. That's a really good question. I think the, the long uh, periods for discussion have been really great. Um, just to like try and synthesize everything that's been going on and like getting into some of the, the more like nitty gritty aspects of uh, evolution versus like tourist obscuration. It's been a lot of fun. What was your favorite part of this conference? I think it's the discussion session of the first day when people are trying to we realize that how hard is that is it, it is to ask the right question and then actually it's very important in that. What was your favorite part of this conference? I think it was a wide range of talks, so I learned quite a lot about other areas that I'm not quite knowledgeable about, especially x-rays and all the stuff about new stuff. It's quite interesting for me to learn. Actually, I think I like the science organized sequence. They are not only cover the large survey, but also individual galaxies. I think individual galaxy study is very important and they are not only cover the high redshift and also the local redshift. And I think that my most favorite thing is the discussion. They, they check the before the conference and after the conference, the, the discussion, the result, is there any different or not. The discussion, conflict discussion, I like it. <laughs> what has been your favorite part of this conference? Well, as the organizer, my favorite part of the conference has simply been having all these wonderful scientists here at our institution. So we have a relatively small group here, but we're doing a lot of active stuff on AGN. And to have basically the world brain trust of people who all are interested in the same stuff that we're interested in here in our beautiful little town has just been the best. So uh, we've had a wonderful week.